Hey everybody. Well, I'm making a video today um, about these plugs in particular uh, because they suck. And I had to do something really simple like solder two wires together. And I have been fighting my soldering iron that's got the same freaking plug. It they have they get shorts in them so easy. Um, and so something new that I learned today, I took my one of my quads out and you know I, I used the DJI the V2 goggles and it's got this plug on it and that's the one that I'm replacing. Um, all right, yeah, so my thing keeps shutting off because this thing is shorted out and I can't solder it very long at all. So, anyways, I'm just gonna make this quick video. This is the DJI plug, DJI plug. This is the port C and this is the end of it. And if your goggles aren't working, it's because of this stupid plug. You need a new one. You don't need a new pair of goggles. You just need to replace the plug. And I can't keep my soldering iron on long enough um, to keep it hot because this stupid plug keeps shorting out. Here's two of them right here that don't work. Another one that doesn't work. I'm fighting it right now. I just keep shutting up. I can't make this video to solder this stupid thing because this fucking soldering iron cord keeps... Uh, going bad now I just shut off it won't even work at all it just completely shut off so anyways all right so what you want to do is you want to buy one of these replacement heads they're like three bucks and this is all you need it comes just like this in a little packaging and there's a um, two wires that's it a red one and a white one All you gotta do is get you some scissors. And cut the end of the plug off. Get your new plug. Put your piece of shrink wrap on there like this. And uh, solder your wires together. I'll do a little twist. The red goes to the red, and the ground goes to the ground. You put them together like so. So they're together. Now, if I can get my soldering iron to get hot, I'm using, um, I use TBS solder when I'm soldering I use TBS paste um, so you put your shrink wrap on there like so yeah my iron keeps shutting off this is just freaking impossible guys I can't keep my iron on long enough to... I'm probably gonna have to switch irons. This is really... I'm so sick of this. It's very frustrating. When you're trying to work and your tools don't work, you know? I'm trying to get the temperature right. It's getting up there. I just can't move this thing where the cord is. There we go. So, all right. What you want to do is put a little solder on your end of your tip, and then uh, Yeah, my soldering iron hasn't shut off yet. 
And what I like to do is I just like to push the solder into the metal like so. My buddy Andrew taught me how to solder. And that's it. That's all there is to it, and it's done. And uh, what I like to do is separate them like this. Sometimes I'll put two pieces of shrink wrap on them to guarantee that they won't touch or whatever, but I just slide one back there like so. Push it in there, and make sure that they're not touching each other. Slide it in here like that. And then I get me a lighter. And voila, there she goes. Let me turn my iron off that isn't working. And we'll do a test real quick on the goggles. Now, I recently bought a, a new cord for my goggles. This cord right here, it's pretty fancy cord. It's got a little power switch on it. and uh, But it doesn't have the C plug on the end of it to go into my DJI smart batteries, which I need one of those. And I found out today that if you use a 4S battery, if you use a 4S battery, like not the DJI battery, one of these, it doesn't put out enough power to the goggles and it won't record your videos. So, a cord, you never thought a cord could cause so many freaking problems, you know? But, um, yeah, this is why I, I gotta get rid of this cord. Now, I didn't put a 6S battery on my DJI goggles to test it because I'm not sure if I can run a 6S on it. I'm pretty sure you can run a 6S, but um, this is all you got to do, guys. Your DJI cord, this is it right here. If, if, if your goggles quit working and it's, it, it's shutting on and off, all you got to do is cut this thing off and throw it in the trash. Get you another one. These are three bucks the end of this. And then solder it onto your original cable. And plug them up. Plug them into my goggles. Now, I've also learned um, that this area here that you plug it into, I was very worried that it might have been damaged inside of there and maybe the solder joint might have came loose. That was the first thing that I thought that my goggles was damaged, but it wasn't. It was this stupid cord. And the reason why I know, well, is because I have two goggles and I was able, I was having problems with both of the goggles. And then I was, both cords, two were screwed up. So, we got action. We're good to go. Now, I shouldn't say low power, you can't record. Because if it has low power, it won't record your videos on the DJI um, DVR on the air unit or on the Vista. You know? So, I lost my camera today, my Instago 360. And when I went to go play the video back in my DJI DVR, there was no video because it wasn't recording because I was using one of these batteries to power my goggles. So, it's another stupid design that DJI has with these stupid goggles. Well, they're not stupid, but guys, there has to be another way with these goggles um, other than 
I like these batteries. These batteries are a little expensive. I've got a lot of them. Well, I had a lot of them, but I've got a lot of them missing now. But, um, yeah, that's all you got to do is, uh, cut the end off and, and re-solder it on there, and, uh, you're good to go. I recommend on your goggles, what I like to do is, on my snap here, I'll take the snap off, and I'll run the cable inside of the snap like this, and then I'll snap the cable so that the, the wire, the cord's running through here like this. And then what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll just one time, I'll tie it like that. You don't want to tie it really tight to put stress on the cord. And then I'm going to plug it in right there like that. And that way, if you have it tied off like this, um, it keeps your cord uh, stationary and it keeps it from moving around and wiggling the little deal inside of here, the male or the female adapter, the part that it's like, because you don't want this thing to have a lot of play. You take this in and out a lot, and then the inside piece is going to get messed up. <clears throat> and then plus, if the cord is hanging and dangling, it can cause it to... So I always tie mine off, and I, I bought a different uh, battery strap, uh, where I can put my battery pouch in here and I kind of just roll my cord up, you know, and then I, I tuck the cord inside so everything's snug. But I know you guys aren't retarded, you know, um, this ain't a video for retards, but um, I, I roll my cord up. I'm sure some of you guys have a better way of doing this, but I just roll my my cord up in like that and I put my battery in there and then you can see how everything is neat and tucked away and then there's no stress on this piece right here and it keeps it from where it will not short out and it, your goggles will last a lot longer um so this is the iFlight crystal patch uh, a lot of FPV pilots were using these. I I bought a, a pair because I thought the range, it would give me better range. Um, in all actuality, it didn't really give me any better range, I don't think, um, than the stock antennas. I, I think it's pretty much the same. You might get a better range if, like, you're flying in a garage or something like that. Um, you might get better range, but... As far as going further and stuff like that, I don't really think so. I've tested a lot of different, um, I'm looking for my other goggles there in the shop in there, but um, I've tested a lot of different antennas. Uh, the, oh, sorry about that, guys. The Lumineer Stubbies. Um, oh, where did I put them there in, in the drone shop? Luminaire stub stubbies. Um, those are pretty decent, I guess, but I can't really tell a difference in the range. You know, um, all right, they're not in here. We're gonna put put them. I just got finished, uh, here they are, into the new spot. I just got finished, uh, redecorating the shop and the studio, redoing the studio. All right, so these are my other goggles. These are my other V2 goggles. And these are, um, the Lumineer Stubbies that I was using uh, and if you're wondering what this mod is right here, this is the Spitfire mod. Um, it's a mod that you put on here to where you can run analog goggles, where you can you can do an analog signal and a video signal. So if you're flying an analog copter like this one, um, 
I just push a button, I can pick up the little dude, it'll pick up uh, the analog signal, and I can actually fly analog quads with my digital glasses, with goggles. So, with that being said, there's all kinds of little things you can do, technology now. But uh, tell me what you guys think about my new shop, well, my new studio here. Uh, I'm working on this Aries. I'm actually designing new legs for this one. And this one over here, um, I'm putting, uh, this is uh, DJI uh, S900. Uh, spread your wings. And uh, this one here, I put a Pixhawk, uh, Pixhawk flight controller on it and I changed it. Um, changed it up. So, started uh, doing some other big projects. But so this concludes uh, my video. This concludes my video uh, with the DJI goggles and uh, the plug. I hope this video helps out anybody. Um, one of the tips I want to give you guys when you're soldering is, uh, you know, always keep your tip clean. This flux paste helps a lot, you know, and in order to even solder, one of the mistakes I used to make is that you have to have solder on the tip of your soldering gun in order for you to even be able to have solder to stick to a pad. So, and flux will help stick to the pad. So there's some good videos on soldering out there. I haven't made a good video on soldering yet. Um, but I was very frustrated with these goggles and I wanted to share, um, share this with you guys. So I hope this helps. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions, down in the descriptions and I'll get to you. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe and happy drone racers to you guys. Uh, happy flying.